I'm uh, going to do a quick wine review for you folks. Uh, some people keep asking me to do alcoholic reviews. I don't know whether you think I'm some kind of drunk or whatever, but uh, I like a drink. So let's do it. This one is, it's just the small bottles again. This is the little, little bottles. Uh, it uh, makes it easier for me to buy without having to buy about eight quid a bottle. Right, this one is a, I got it from Morrison's the other day. Uh, I meant to do a review on it the other day, but I forgot all about it. It was sitting there in the top shelf of the fridge. Uh, it's a Pinwa Gri Gio. Gri 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 there's a song in there somewhere, isn't there? sounds like it. It's a Lavio Pinoa Gria Grio. Right, it's a uh, produced bottled, it's a wine of Moldovia. So, uh, delicious flavours of apple and citrus fruit and a crisp, refreshing finish. They all say that, don't they? They're all crisp and refreshing. Everything's crisp and refreshing if it comes in a bottle of wine. Uh, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's have a look at a few facts on Moldova, shall we, to uh, try and educate the country and the world of the country of Moldova. Um, Moldova is actually Romanian. Uh, parts of Moldova used to be in uh, Romania until the mid-1800s. Uh, it's Europe's largest Jewish cemetery is in the capital of Shizanet. Shizanu, Shizanu, yes. So the largest Jewish capital, uh, largest Jewish cemetery is in Shizanu. That if Jeremy Corbyn and his buddies will be going there. Oh, bit political there. Moldova has a breakaway territory. Uh, Moldovans drink more alcohol than anyone else in the world. Really? The largest collection of wine is in Moldova. Well. If they're collecting it, they're not drinking it. So if they're not drinking it, they're not the largest drinkers, are they? Right. We'll leave that there. Let's pop this open. Hold on, let's see what it is. It's a... 12.5% volume in a 187 milliliter bottle. Right. Believe it or not, it does smell of apples. <sighs> Smells very fruity. They all smell the same, don't they, wines? I don't know why I do a wine review, to be fair, because they all smell the bloody same to me. It smells of wine. Yeah, it's got a winey, dry smell. I don't like that. Oh, no. It's sour to me. There's nothing crisp and there's nothing refreshing about that. Oh. Now, normally I can palate some wines and I can drink them. But... Uh, I don't think I could drink this. It leaves like a, you know when you drink mouthwash? I know you're not supposed to drink mouthwash. I know that you're supposed to, yeah, or oh, down in the sink. And you, get, you, you drink it. Yeah, things I tell you about myself. Yeah. Right, you know when you drink mouthwash accidentally, it's a bit like that. Yeah, that ain't the best. Well, I don't think it is anyway. I certainly couldn't drink this. I don't think you could even sip. I tell you what, folks, you think I'm taking the here, but I'm not. This ain't very nice. It's, ugh. If somebody drinks that and you like it, let me know. Because I don't think I could drink it.
have you seen when I did a breakfast review, breakfast in a tin, from Morrison's? It's given me the same effect as that. Yeah, I don't think I could drink this. Yeah, I, I don't know how they... I can see why they've got the largest collection of alcohol, wine, I mean. No wonder they sell it over here. If this is what they've got to offer us from Europe, let's get Brexit quick, because I couldn't drink this. That's about the worst one pound seventy five I've ever tasted in my life. Wasted and tasted in my life. I've got to get that light sorted, didn't I? Now it's too bright. I need a darker light, don't I? A darker light. Rubbish I talk. All right, folks. Um, unless you like your wine to taste like mouthwash, don't buy that. Oh.